Hi everyone, tonight I'm going to give you guys a nail tutorial on how to apply lace onto your nails. I started with the Sally Hansen Thicken Up Strengthening Nail Thick Thickener and I first apply a nice coat of this to my bare nails, clean nails, and this keeps them strong and it also keeps them very pliable so that they, they don't break easy. Um, I let that dry and after that I apply a coat of pure ice. Um, this color is called Beware. I really love this sparkling silver. It's very strong and it obviously is really shiny. Then I put a coat of, um, this is by Milani and this is called Disco Lights. So. Right on top of the silver, I did just a light coat of Disco Lights. So this prepares your nail, gives it the base before you apply the lace on top. Now I'll show you how to apply the lace on top. Um, I'd like to begin by showing you the piece of lace. Okay. Now obviously this piece of lace is, is bigger than my nail. You want it to be a little bit bigger so you can cut around it afterwards. I'd also like to show you guys the scissors that I'm working with. They're a very fine tip, therefore you can get really close in onto the edges. Also you want them to be very sharp. Another, another tool I'll be using is fine tip tweezers. So I'll start with out of the door nail um, to, uh, top coat for nails. and apply a good coat on top. Then you're going to want to take your tweezers, pick up the piece of lace, and apply it on. Now I like to go ahead and pat it down with my fingers so that it sticks really nice. Be aware that the clear nail polish does dry pretty quickly, so you're going to want to Make sure you get that lace on just as fast. Then I'm going to go around the edges, paying attention to my nail. I don't want to chop my nail off. By the way, the lace that I'm using has some stretch to it and you're going to want to pay attention to that as well. You're going to want to have a lace that has a little bit of a stretch in case you need to pull it and adjust it. And um, just a note, if you guys want to practice this and you don't necessarily have lace around, grab an old pair of underwear. <laughs> it might sound a little weird, but it works perfectly. And often lacy underwears are the ones that get the holes in them the first, so that's what I did. Um, I just grabbed an, an older pair that had a hole in it already and started chopping it up. So now that I have pretty much cut the, um, the lace off of the edges. What I'm going to do is apply my clear on top once again. Then I go ahead and take my finger, press on the around the edges a little bit. It'll soften the lace that is sticking out. Let this coat dry and apply another coat. Um, if you still can feel the roughness of the lace on top, I suggest keep applying coats throughout, um, throughout the day or even maybe wait till the next morning and apply another thick coat. Um, you want it to be really shiny and glossy like this one. It almost will look like an acrylic nail when you're done. Um, these are my natural nails, but it provides a lot of strength for them. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what you think. Thank you.